all you amazing people, my name is Zink and welcome back to another video. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best tips and tricks to getting the Synaptic Rig Diamond in Infinite Warfare. So these are the tips and tricks I use to get the Synaptic Rig Diamond. I got a diamond in literally a day, so that should give you a full picture on how good these tips and tricks are. So I want to give these to you guys so you can get the Synaptic Rig Diamond in a day if you haven't really aimed for Black Sky on the rigs yet. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So first off, I'm going to show you guys the Synaptic Rig in Gold, Diamond, Solar, and Black Sky to see if you guys actually want to go for Black Sky on these rigs because it gets harder the higher the rigs go like the higher the level the rigs are to unlock like it's pretty hard with the striker and the phantom and the ftl ftl is like medium but the synaptic merc and no the merc's like medium but the synaptic and the warfighter rig are the easiest ones to actually get to diamond and what's a big example of that a lot of people have diamond on the warfighter rig and synaptic rig because it's literally the easiest one so the tips I'm giving you guys should make you finish these in like a breeze. It's not going to make them super easy, but it's going to make them easy to the point where you're able to do them easier than without doing my tips and tricks. All right, so first off is the heads. So the first head is Rugidize. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you have to kill 400 enemies while using the Synaptic Rig. Now, that is self-explanatory right there. And next one is Market. Kill three enemies without dying while using the Synaptic Combat Rig. 30 times now that's self-explanatory as well but if you do have trouble with surviving and getting at least a three kill streak use the stealth perks like blind eye ghost cold-blooded and dead science and that will really help and also camp that'll really help as well but camp because you're aiming to finish this rig don't camp just to be an annoying player the next one is crowd control activate a synaptic combat rig payload 60 times that one is self-explanatory as well next one is enviro i don't know if i'm saying that right kill three enemies without dying while using synaptic combat rig 60 times same thing what i said about the market headpiece the next one is land shark kill 200 enemies while using the synaptic combat rig now that is self-explanatory right there. Next one, Swamp Work. Get 50 double kills while using the Synaptic Combat Root. Now, if you don't know if you got a double kill or not, it should tell you as a medal. But if you want to know like the old school way, basically you kill somebody and you count to two seconds. If two seconds pass by and you don't kill anybody in that time of two seconds, then it's not going to count as a double kill. But I think it should pop up as a medal now because the recent CODs do show medals like double kills, triple kills, and all that. The next one is military spec. Get 100 double kills while using a synaptic combat rig. Now, that's the same thing as I said as swamp work. And then you all know how to get gold. Basically, to get gold, you have to get all of the pieces for that category. So if you want gold on the body parts, get all the pieces on the body part. If you want gold on the head, get all the pieces for the head and to get diamond you have to get all the pieces for all the categories so all the pieces for the head and body parts and you get diamond and to get solar you got to get every single combat rigs finished and to get black sky you have to get every single combat rig finished as well as getting five kills with each one in a single match so we are now off to the body parts the first one is rugidize again i don't know if i'm saying that right activate rewind while damage 50 times Play core. Play core for this one. Don't play hardcore or anything like that, but play core. I think what would help a lot is ground more because there's a lot of people in there. You can get shot from anywhere, and while you're getting shot at, just literally rewind. Like the first shot you get hit, just click that thing instantly. And what would really help is overclocked to finish this challenge way more faster because overclock will make the rewind come way faster than without it the next one is market kill four enemies with a single reaper activation five times now this is pretty easy but if it is hard for you play ground war ground war will help a lot because there's a lot of people everywhere and getting four kills like that will be super easy because the reaper payload is actually one of the most overpowered payloads in infinite warfare because you basically go into a four-legged ghost dog and you basically just one hit everybody with a claw and you have thermal vision so you can see anybody even with ghosts they pop out so that's pretty weird or cold-blooded i think they still pop out even if they try to hide from it so this is pretty easy but if you have trouble just play ground war next one is swamp war kill four enemies with a single reaper activation 10 times same thing as i said 
to market. Next thing is crown control. Activate the rushdown trait 200 times. The rushdown trait is the trait that I think you boost. Just every time you boost, like it's like an extra boost. It's like advanced warfare boosting. Every time you boost, just use it. Just keep on using it, and you'll get you'll get that done like literally no time. That's pretty self-explanatory. Next one's envy row. I think I'm saying that right now. Envy row, envy row. I don't know. Activate the rushdown trait 400 times. The same thing as I said is crowd control. Next thing is military spec. Kill five enemies with the improved thru thrusters while using the propulsion traits. Now this is the hardest challenge in the synaptic rig. What I recommend for you for this, because it's literally the hardest one ever, is play hardcore, put the propulsion trait on, and basically whenever somebody is close to you, it's literally a 50-50 chance. It's all luck. It's pure luck, honestly, if you will get it. But th that's why it's five. That's why it's literally five kills, because it's the hardest thing ever. So it's not that hard to get, but it's all pure luck. Just basically boost next to somebody and just hope for the best or boost on top of them and hope for the best that your boosters kill them. But remember to play hardcore for this one because that will help a lot. And then the last one is Lang Shark. Activate rewind while damaged 25 times. Basically what I said for Rugidize, right? Yeah, it's basically what I said for Rugidize. And I told you how to get gold, diamond, solar, and black sky. So that's basically it for the synaptic rig, guys. If you guys did like this, drop a like because it helps me out a ton. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more amazing content. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, comment down below if you have any tips for the synaptic rig that you think are pretty good because you never know if it could help somebody. And I would really like to know and try it out to see if it actually is better than any of my tips. And remember to check out all my other easy rig videos. I will pop a card to the playlist right about now. And I'll put it in the description below if you want to check it out after this video i've done the warfighter and merc rig as of this video was uploaded i'll probably finish it in the future but as of this video was uploaded again i've only done the warfighter and merc rig but that was pretty much it for my video guys and i'll see you in my next one so stay amazing and peace guys